Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, eLearning Arena. I'm your host, Process Engineer Sayyid Waqas Haider. In this video, I'm uh, going to explain that how can we use the Pipe Flow Expert to design a simple uh, piping circuit. So, piping in, uh, Pipe Flow Expert is a very useful software for hydraulic circulation, for pump design, for uh, line sizing for pressure drop calculation, etc. So it is a very useful software for a process engineer or a piping engineer. So first of all, uh, when you start the pipe flow expert, uh, you can select the fluid uh, of your circuit from here. Uh, this software has a lot of uh, fluids available in its data database. Here you can select all fluids, liquids or gases so it has a lot of uh, fluids available built in so at the moment the, by default the water is selected and you can change uh, the temperature pressure viscosity density etc or you can select uh, any what any fluid from its database so uh, let's select the uh, by default the water is selected so let's continue with that and then you can change the units. Uh, two options are available: imperial or metric, or you can, or you can customize the units from here. here these are the units available. You can customize. You can uh, choose uh, uh, choose units of your choice. And now let's start building the circuit. First of all, I'm adding a reservoir tank, and then. I'm uh, I have selected the pipe this is the first pipe straight now the software is telling me that the default uh, dimensions of the pipe uh, are these L uh, length is 3 meter diameter is uh, diameter is 102 mm roughness is this casual is 40 I can I can change the defaults or I can continue with that uh, let at the moment let's continue with that I can change uh, these values from uh, from this tab uh, at any moment in my calculations so let's continue with that this is the second pipe and this is the third pipe and this is the fourth pipe so four pipes I have uh, created four pipes and then the outlet tank so this is the simple circuit now I am going to add pump this is the pump uh, icon I, I would go I would like to add the pump in this pipe so I would click on this pipe now this this is the pump sheet you can define the pump or uh, by its, its speed its uh, impeller diameter or you can add pump from its database as well this is the database and you can select uh, any pump of your choice from its database or you can select or you can s uh, set the flow rate or s set its uh, head as well so I'm going to select the flow rate and I'm not selecting the uh, pump from its database I am choosing a flow rate of 200 liters per minute now the pump has been added I'm going to the reservoir tank I have to change the icon again this is the this is the reservoir tank I can change the icon from here these are the different available icons you can ch uh, you can change the icon of your choice the elevation is zero let's uh, let's let's assume that the liquid level is two meter in this tank and then this is the pipe one I can select from here I can change its length its diameter its roughness or its material as well so these are the different material available in this software I can select any one of them 
then here these are the different fittings so let's go to the fitting this is the this is the add-in fitting tab so let's assume that it uh, this pipe has two elbow of 45 degree double click on it add the quantity two and let's assume that we have also a glow valve glow valve in it as well so i have added a glow valve and two elbows of 45 degree in this pipe again this is the second pipe uh, let's assume that this the length of this pipe is 1.5 meter and also fittings for fittings let's assume that it has only one elbow of 45 degree now these are the elevations this tank is uh, this this tank's elevation is zero meter, and this node uh, is also at zero meter. But I am going to change the elevation from here. So this point where the pump uh, where the pump is located, I want to change the elevation from zero to one. So now you can see that. Uh, uh, from this node to this node the elevation change is 1 meter and then uh, again I have to change the elevation of pump as well so pump is also located at 1 meter elevation now this as this is 1 meter so this node would also be at the elevation of 1 meter and this pipe 3 I can select this pipe 3 I can change uh, the length but I would not let's go to the fittings and let's assume that it also has elbow of 45 degree two elbows and then this pipe this is the last pipe and let's assume that the length is also 1.5 and it has also a fitting of 45 degree now this is the final component this is the reservoir uh, this is the outlet tank uh, let's assume that it has also a liquid level of 2 meter and its elevation is also 2 meter you can change the icon of your choice now all the data has been entered now we will uh, we will hit the calculate button the software is calculated the network uh, here you can you can see that the network was solved successfully the log contains only one component so these are the results the component the comment is uh, about the discharge flow that it has no fittings i have i have not uh, included a lot of fittings in the pipe 4 so it's commenting about that but it is not a not a big issue so uh, the results are okay and we can create a pdf report of the results let's go to the create pdf report and these are the different uh, options of your final report you can you can add an image of your company you can uh, add the project name uh, you can add the company name etc these are the different uh, values that uh, values and data that you want to add into your report and after you are uh, done with these options you can uh, hit the create report and you will uh, you will get this final hydraulics report so this is the report of your uh, final data it has included all the details the first uh, page would give the fluid data and then the pump data and the, uh, we have uh, we in our circuit there were four pipes so uh, in the pipe data sheet uh, we have all the data of pipes listed here
and then the nodes data uh, nodes what are the nodes nodes are where one uh, one pipe changes to another this is the node number the, this is first node this is second node this is third node this is fourth node so this is the end of uh, the hydraulic calculations so now you can see that it is very simpler to use this software it is very useful software for hydraulic calculations i hope you liked the video and if you liked it please uh, subscribe my channel and share this video thank you very much